Mama's temporary reprieve by suspending the ban in Mombasa, Kilifi and Taita Taveta counties. President William Ruto engaged the governors of the three counties in phone conversations during which there was agreement that they would attend a stakeholders meeting that would, among others, incorporate the governors of Embu and the Ministry of Agriculture. A statement from State House after the president met Embu leaders led by Governor Cecilim Barire declared that Moguka had been recognized in the Crop Act 2013 and Mira Regulations 2023, and that any other laws or order that contradicts national legislation is now and void. The High Court in Embu temporarily suspended executive orders banning the sale, distribution, and consumption of Mogoka in Mombasa, Kilifi, and Taita Taveta counties. <laughs> Lady Justice Lucy Njuguna certified the case filed by Kutere Masako Society Limited, the County Government of Embu, and the County Assembly of Embu Agent, setting inter-parties hearing for the 8th of July. Kutere Masako and the County Government of Embu and the Assembly have filed the case against the Governors of Mombasa, Kilifi, and Taita Taveta, the Council of Governors and the Attorney General questioning the constitutionality of the executive orders issued by the three governors and asking the court to set them aside for violating their rights and fundamental freedoms, as well as the principles of devolution and the rule of law. They are also seeking compensation for losses suffered in the violation of the rights of members of Kudere Masako to fair administrative action and socio-economic rights. President William Ruto called the governors of Mombasa, Kilifi, and Taita Taveta, which have banned Mogoka, he had on Monday held a meeting with Embu leaders at State House that endorsed Mogoka, citing the Crops Act 2013 and Mira Regulations 2023 as recognition by national laws, which could not be revised by any other law or order that was contradictory. I reference the executive orders issued by the Mombasa and Kilifi governors. Nikipigwa marufuku sisi wanabiashara tutaenda wapi na tunafanya nini? Kwa sababu sio sisi tu ambao tunauza tunafaidi. Kuna wale ambao wanatutegemea sisi, tuko na tuko na wafanyikazi ambao tumeajiri, tuko na wale ambao ni wenye manduka tunawalipa rent. Kwa hivyo ungefungwa ama ungepigwa marufuku kutoka mimi mwanabiashara mpaka yule mkahaji wa hapa pia angeadhirika kwa sababu nyumba ingenishinda kulipa, yule ambaye nimemwajiri angeshindwa, ningeshindwa kumlipa. Additionally the government had committed 500 million shillings for value addition of the crops. Last week, Mombasa Governor Abdul Swamad Sharif Nasir banned the entry transportation, sale, and consumption of Mogoka, citing its harmful effects, especially on young people, sparking outrage among farmers and traders. Kama leadership ya county hii, uh, tunaungana na wengine kupiga vita utumizi wa Mogoka. Of course, atuto ekaban kwa utumizi wa Mogoka kwa sababu ya kisheria. Lakini pia tunafatilia zile njia za kisheria ili kwa kikisha utumizi wa mugoka uh, unakuwa regulated. Similar directives were issued by the governors of Kilifi and Taita Taveta counties who vowed to crack down on the sale of the stimulant. While County Governor Fatuma Achani says there is no law to support the ban, but has pointed out that her county assembly will make laws to make the use and the trade of the stimulant more difficult. Ben Kirui, Citizen TV.